record, six wins, no losses. She stands five feet, six inches tall. Aishak! And now, one loss. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 100. Jutai Lima! Beltron will be our referee. All the way back. All the way back. Lima. And a J check. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Hit him, let's go! Here we go for the early kick. The movement of these athletes can be clinched here by Lima. Both of them with strong striking skills. I guarantee you she's got some great jiu-jitsu as well. By Joanna. Energy being spent Absolutely. here. This and is especially very, two women walking exchange. Not the most exciting thing to watch because both both fighters are working at 100% exertion right now. Does Lima win it with her relentless attempts to take down down defense? Well, you know, the knees are starting action. to go there. Yeah, yeah, the knees are starting to go. No one's stalling here. Right. Lima's got her hands connected together, Mike. That's going to change everything. Those legs, hooking those legs. Look at this, though. Yana back up to her feet. She's up to her feet. That's Through the elbow to the midsection. Excellent technique, too. They'll break. So that was about half a round. Oh, Johanna cracked her. Big right hand striking from Johanna Ejicic. <laughs> Lima nice. very tired again. The the brunt of the exert defend against it. Lima, pro since 2010. You got dry check. Has fought Muay Thai. Now a minute on the clock. Yeah, that time there was a little bit of a, a breather. It was a result of the inexperience of Lima. This is her first fight and to cover if she gets through this next 28 seconds, but not good. Johanna right now looks the much fresher. Good leg kick by Lima, but a but good right hand back by Lima. Over the top. And here's Lima, eventually gets that right across the face by Joanna. Well, keep an eye on the striking of Joanna. She was, once once Lima was tired, yeah. Lima looked very good. I would have loved to hear her corner, but unfortunately I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> Up the middle. As we very good at sliding in and out. There's a good inside leg kick by Lima. You know? Nice oh. right hand counter there. And she's really been impressive coming into the second round. And I think it's primarily because of the adrenaline dump. If she can fall into her rhythm and get her second win. Very and nice to the body. Whereas Lima is much more labored, much nickel. Oh, another shot to the body, which UFC champion will be dictated and decided by in the hunt absolutely Ooh, beautiful right hand of the body there so very impressive early in their mma careers this is the high the high guard of lima yep. so she's going around it chuck liddell style excellent distance i love it more technique you also see people that have Joanna Joe has stuffed all 10 of Julian grappling competition. I'm pretty sure she would have got a, a takedown point for that. You know, she did have her down. Yes. For about one flea. Where she's trying. Joanna answers. Elbow, very nice. Yeah, if Joanna can start to be the better fight. One minute. Mike Beltran back to the center of the octagon. So technically sound, as we mentioned. Yeah, really. Total strikes with 35 remaining. <laughs> he certainly does, and that's making Johanna try to find angles to go yes. around that. And over the top. And here's that front packed on it, but still fun to watch. Lima, a little bit lighter on her yes, feet in this indeed. third round. One of the big differences in this fight, the face, 
Oh, beautiful whipping right hand over the top of the car. Look at that, mixes it up to the body nicely. Look at that little ass now as she was at the beginning of the fight. Yeah, I really think that no yelling out her own name, but just dumped out too much energy to right. take down. And then this is the adrenaline dump. Lima then tried to be creative, but Joanna breaks free. Yeah, Joanna really turned things up, as we mentioned in round. Well, Lima's got to figure something out here. Some backing up now. Yeah, continuously. Lima, she has to dig deep, Mike, out some way to hurt her, time something, and catch. Most certainly the second round, it was Johanna's show. I mean, she just really. Oh, they spent half of it on the mm -hmm. fence. Yeah, but when they did exchange on all Johanna in the third round, it's just a. She's just putting on a clinic. Is it nice? That one is official. That's what she needed. Side right. to escape into half guard, but still Lima on top. That's a wide open half guard right now. It is a wide open. She's got to be careful of that right knee though, because it's going to go to full guard. In here, where she might be able to attempt a guillotine choke from the mount. If she slides, she's pressing down with that left instep. And Johanna's trying to see how she's really grabbing her legs, tightening down on the right leg of. Lima. 40 seconds left. Lima's got to go for something, Mike. She's got to go off in the knee to the body. Yeah, she lost the position. Yeah. She had a good, probably wanted to gauge her time, try to catch enough energy, catch a little. With as difficult a last name as Joanna has. Anna. Excellent fight. Absolutely. Of uh, the native of Poland. And there's a nice right leg kick by Lima. And Johanna returns ab, Mike, to the body to the face, just that her jab, and her, her pace. They await the judge's decision. Both women making their UFC debuts. The judges have rendered their decision, and here is 30-27.